So basically, blocking queue is an interface which falls under java.util.concurrent package, and uh, uh, it helps us to contain or store objects when one set of thread is inserting the objects into the blocking queue and the other set of thread are taking the objects out of it. So w what's the special thing about blocking queue? I'm going to let you know right now. So basically the threads which are inserting the objects into the blocking queue will keep on inserting the objects until the maximum capacity of the blocking queue is reached and until the blocking queue is completely full after which the threads will be blocked and they will not be able to insert further objects into the blocking queue and they'll remain in the blocked state until a uh, few objects are taken out from the blocking queue by other set of thread and there is a space available in the blocking queue now when I say this the threads will be blocked developer will not have to write any code to block the first set of thread which are inserting the objects into the blocking queue. This is taken care by the blocking queue itself. It is going to block the threads which are inserting the object into it when the maximum capacity of the blocking queue is reached. Now if we see it from the other angle, I talked about the set of thread which is going to take the objects out of the blocking queue. So they will continue to take the objects out of the blocking queue until there is any object available in the blocking queue and once there is no object available in the blocking queue this set of thread will be blocked and they will remain in the blocked state until there are few objects available in the blocking queue now well again uh, this piece of code to block the set of thread which is taking the object out of the blocking queue will not be written by the developer it will be taken care by the blocking queue itself now, as I talked about, blocking queue is an interface. So, here are a few classes which implement this interface. These are array, array blocking queue, delay queue, linked blocking queue, priority blocking queue, and synchronous queue. And in our example, we are going to talk about array blocking queue. So, here I tried to uh, represent the blocking queue in our diagrammatic representation here you can see a blocking queue having an array inside it and on the left there is a thread which is trying to insert the objects into the blocking queue I have denoted that by green arrow and on the right side there is a set of thread which is taking the objects out of the blocking queue I have denoted that by red arrow so now how the uh, how this works is so the first set of thread the green arrow inserted the object into the blocking queue it will continue to insert more objects until the blocking queue is full and once the blocking queue is full this first set of thread will get automatically blocked by the blocking queue and they will remain in the blocked state until few objects are taken out by the other set of thread which is on the right side denoted by red arrow so once uh, uh, some space is available in the blocking queue the first set of thread will again insert further objects after getting unblocked so uh, now seeing it from the other angle the second set of thread the red arrow will take the objects out of the blocking queue and it will continue to do so until there is no object remaining in the blocking queue and at this point this thread will get blocked until there is a, and it will be blocked by the blocking queue and it will remain in the blocked state until few objects are there again there in the blocking queue so that it can take them out so the key methods for this uh, blocking queue interface are uh, put where we pass in the object and it uh, puts the object inside the blocking queue and the other method is take which takes the object out of the blocking queue now let us try to s resolve a problem statement with the help of the blocking queue the problem statement is that I have to design an interview process application where one system or module will schedule interviews of candidates given that the interview hall 
can accommodate at max three candidates at a time and one system or module will conduct interview of one candidate at a time and send the candidate out of the interview hall so that the candidate so that the next or other candidate can be scheduled for interview and can be sent inside the hall so if you try to relate this problem statement uh, with the blocking queue representation which I told so it will happen something like this now see the blocking queue is replaced by the interview hall having the capacity of three so that it can accommodate three candidates at a time and this left green arrow which signified the threats inserting the objects will be a module which is scheduling the interview of candidates and the right one it will be a module which will take interview of one candidate at a time and take the candidate out of the interview hall so how it's going to happen is the first module will schedule the interviews of candidates and send the candidate inside the interview hall one by one and once the uh, maximum capacity of this interview hall will reach which is three the first set of thread or module will be blocked by the blocking queue and then one by one candidates in interview will happen and he'll come out of the interview hall and there will be again space available in the interview hall at this time the first module will get unblocked and it will send one more candidate and again it will get blocked so how it, uh, so it's going to happen like this let's uh, write some code for it using blocking queue so here I have uh, written a bit a uh, little code for you so this is my main class my interview service class here I'm declaring a blocking queue having the capacity of three and I have two modules one is interview scheduler and one is interview processor it is going to schedule the interviews it is going to uh, the interview processor will take interview of one candidate at a time and send him out of the interview hall so this is nothing but a set of threads so see this interview scheduler is nothing it implements runnable interface and I have a overridden run method and I'm passing this blocking queue to its constructor which is getting mapped here so inside the run method what I'm doing is simply first I am listing out suppose 10 candidates have arrived and in a for loop I'm just creating an object of type string giving it a name candidate I which means candidate 1 candidate 2 and then I'm simply putting this string object inside this blocking queue and then declaring interview scheduled for candidate 1 and candidate 2 as per the message simply I'm just doing this much in a for loop I have not written any code which says that once the blocking queue is full this thread has to get a weight or something like that I, have, I haven't written any such code and at the last what I'm saying is interview schedule for all candidates and I'm going to create a string object of uh, with name as stop and I'm going to put this in, in in this queue to show that all the candidates have been scheduled so my next module processor which is going to take the interview and uh, uh, remove one object from the blocking queue or send the candidate out of the interview hall again it is it implements runnable in interface has a overridden run method I'm mapping the <coughs> blocking queue here which I'm passing from my service class and uh, inside the run method what I'm doing is I'm sim uh, so the first candidate supposed to take supposed to take uh, per candidate interview it takes 10 seconds so for the first candidate I am making this uh, sleep for uh, this thread sleep for 10 seconds and then from then onwards I inside a while loop I am going to take one object out of the queue blocking queue with the help of take method and if that object is not stopped which essentially means that uh, object that is a string object if it is not a stop it means uh, it is a valid candidate to to be uh, whose interview should be taken 
so if, if it is not that what I am simply doing is I am printing interview completed for that candidate and again I am uh, I'm making this thread sleep for 10 seconds so that the next candidates interview can be taken and uh, once it gets uh, once I am taking uh, an object from blocking queue and it turns out to be stop which means all the candidates interviews have been taken so I'm coming out of this while loop and saying interview completed for all candidates so here also nowhere I have written the code which blocks this thread if there is uh, no um, object available in the blocking queue or if uh, there is uh, no candidate in the interview hall whose interview has to be taken so simply let's uh, try to execute this uh, class this service class and see what happens so I'm going to run this so see guys 10 candidates have arrived and the first mo module scheduled the interview of three candidates only because the blocking queue size was three and then the first mo module got blocked and then interview got completed for one can candidate first by the sec second module and the interview was scheduled for the fourth candidates similarly again interview completed for candidate two and then only the first module scheduled the interview for the fifth candidate and here again so as you see that the things are going the way we wanted only three candidates are available in the uh, blocking queue or interview hall at a time and once the interview gets completed for one of the candidate the other candidate gets scheduled so it's going to happen like this only see so like this we can make use of uh, blocking queue for such scenarios so the last candidate remaining interview completed this okay so it's going to go like this uh, thanks a lot friends for watching this uh, video tutorial of mine and uh, if you like this uh, tutorial please subscribe my, uh, subscribe my channel on YouTube and uh, you can also visit my website www.amitpreet.com for more of such tutorials. Thanks a lot.